Hello everyone, this tutorial here will show you how to access the data's attribute table as well as, as well as querying the table and also creating a whole new field. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to examine the city layer's attribute table. Now you're probably thinking, how did I get there? Well, you may have seen on the screen that there are a couple options. The first is simply right-clicking on the city layer and choosing attribute table. Yeah, the other option or other way should I say is simply click on the attribute table icon in one of the, in one of the toolbars above. As you view your records, you can actually sort them in ascending or descending order. And this can be done by simply clicking on the column title and you'll notice a little up or down arrow up here next to its name. Now to create a query which shows selected features you have to create an expression in order to identify what type of features that you're looking for. And you do this through the expression calculator. Now, you can either type your own expression in, but I think for the purposes of this tutorial, you need to go through the uh, operating, or try to say the selection variables, which are shown here, which I'm slowly going through one by one. But the idea is I'm going to basically select a population that is less than or equal to 150,000. And we'll see what, what sort of variables that we'll get for the city's attribute table. The starting variable actually needs to be the population name. And then from there, we, we go back and look for the less than or equal to sign. And for our final touch, since 150,000 is not an actual number in our database, we have to manually type in 150,000. And then from there, we choose Select. And Select. Now, as you can see in the table behind me, over 3,000 records have actually been selected and they're also highlighted on the map behind the attribute table as well. Now, the records that I've selected are in yellow as opposed to their original red color. We can also choose to unselect all the options by clicking this icon here, which is basically a outline polygon with a cancel button next to it. Now, for this next part of this tutorial, I want to create a new field uh, based off population of 1997 per square mile, since that field actually does not exist in this table compared to its population 1990 counter square mile square mile counterpart. Excuse me. To create a new column, we simply scroll over to the new column icon and click on it, and then from there I will enter in population 1997 square mile. The comment box right below it is actually if you want like a brief description of what the box actually is. So I'll just simply type in a brief description here. And for this tutorial's sake, we'll also keep the width of the box at 1. From there we hit OK and our new column has actually formed at the way far end of the attribute table as shown here with a value of null because there is currently nothing in it so what we need to do is actually use our field calculator in order to actually put a new value in there now this field calculator actually we need to uh, update an existing field since we have since we are creating a new column just for this if, if you did not create the column beforehand you could then keep it as create a new field so what we want to do is, since population 97 uh, divided by square mile is basically area, so we need to, so what we need to do is take population of 97 and divide it by the area field. And what this actually does is it takes those two columns, it divides it divides them both, and puts the answer into this new column that we create, as shown here. By updating the attribute table and and by creating a whole new field. I've actually toggled on edit mode by mistake and this will and this will usually happen if you try to actually update your attribute table but you can simply just click on the pencil icon to simply turn off the edit mode but but be sure to save your changes so so anything anything new that you made to your attribute table you you get to keep it
something else I forgot to mention actually, but the small gray box in between your first column and first row is actually a select all option like this. And that's actually a quick way if you want to select the entire attribute table. Of course doing so it's automatically reflected in your map. Um, as you can see everything's much brighter now because everything has now been selected. So I think in order to finish off this tutorial, let's go ahead and actually update our map with the new field that we created for the population 97 per square mile. And I think we should probably use a green color for this. Let's, there it is, we'll select that. And we'll keep it at five classes with natural breaks. We'll hit apply. And there we go. Here's our brand new map that we, that we created with our custom field. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.